All right, so we leave the mill. I've taken you out for a whole day. Let's just get out of here. There's a farmer in the field just here. The locals don't like you being around here. You get a real sort of feeling, real eeriness. Agricultural plant engineers, look. He's doing his gate now. We'll get out of here. So, I mean, you get you get a funny look. It's, it's a it's a little like lay by thing as well, really. Can't really stop you from fucking parking there. Yeah, man. So yeah, man, that was uh, that was interesting to go and see the mill. It's um, it's kind of run down. Nobody's been to cut the grass or sort it out or make it look nice. It just looks shit now. But I suppose they don't want people sort of going in there. I say I do. I do wonder how people have got in there because people have said they've got in. Um, but you know, what I mean, I just hope people haven't broken into it because I've never seen anywhere open in there, and I, I never would. I never would force entry into any place. It's just like you know, it's criminal at the end of the day. But when I've been, there's never been, you know what I mean? I think the law is if it's open, you can go in, can't you? But it's always been closed. Never seen anything open there. But people do need to be careful. If they're posting pictures online of the the interior of the building, then you know what I mean? You could get in trouble for that. You could get in a little bit of trouble. So obviously the, uh, the power station's just down there. Driving, 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 we're driving on the road. Yeah, look at all that mistletoe in that tree. Jesus, look at it. Who knows where I'm coming at Christmas? To get my mistletoe, baby. Yeah, man. Yeah, so if you like these videos, again, make sure you're making a comment. Make sure you're watching them through all the way to the end because that helps the Augusta River. Yeah, we need to help the Augusta River. So yeah, do watch you all the way through. Give them a like, put a little comment on it. Oh, it fucking, it helps me no end, it does. It helps the video. So we're gonna just really try and put a lot more content on here now. But I need to know what is working and what is not working, you know? I wanna know from people. Be brutal, tell me what you wanna see. Tell me what you don't wanna see. But don't not say anything because I'm running blind. I'm running blind and I don't know what I'm doing. If people don't tell me what to do and what the sort of content they want to see. Do you know what I mean? If you want to see certain places, look at this truck here. Look at it. Oh, is that an old Chevy? It's an old Chevy, isn't it? Fucking hell, bruv. Force yourself, force yourself through there, bro. Force yourself through there, isn't it? Barclay is beautiful, eh? Just been driving today, really. I've not really fucking, not really done a lot of walking. I've just been out driving, chatting, done a little bit of filming. It's been a fucking good day, as. Fucking enjoyed it. Need to do a bit more really, need to get out. Like I say, the best chip shop in the world is just up here. But I drove past it a little while ago and it was fucking shut. It's coming up to about four o'clock now, so I bet it'll be um I bet it'll be opening soon. But like, do you know what I mean? If I have a chippy now, I ain't gonna want to have my tea. And then if if like Ninja says to me, what have you had? And I go, well, I've had sausage and chips from fucking Barclay, yeah, she'll be like, hmm, you're a little bastard, aren't you? You're a little bastard for doing that. Hey, yeah, this is the chip shop here, can you see it? Shut at the minute, it probably opens at half four, five o'clock. Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh. Fuck 
fucking everywhere in Gloucester there's fucking traffic. Everywhere outside of Gloucester there's fucking traffic as well. Fucking hell. Gloucestershire is a nightmare for it. I think we're kind of we're kind of really in Bristol now we are. We're kind of we're well out of Gloucester, we're like sort of yeah, we're more Bristol at the moment. This place is haunted as fuck down here. All of these. You can just see from how old it is. Matt of ghost stories that they could tell you from, you know what I mean? I say I might do some filming on a night time. I've said it in previous videos. They go down some sort of haunted country lanes and visit haunted places like, you know what I mean? Presbridge like really haunted. Painswick's really, really haunted. And the roads go into it. They're all sort of country and windy and uh, quite spooky. And a lot of stuff's been sort of caught up there. There's a lot of sightings of different things and different phenomena, so might start doing some nighttime streams. We'll see. Again, let me know. I need to know what people want to see on here. I'm quite happy to go out and film content and do certain types of content if people want to see that more. But again, you need to tell me. Oh, were we waiting behind this geezer for nothing? Were we waiting behind that geezer for nothing? Are you fucking joking me? We were waiting behind that cunt there. You are fucking kidding me. That person was a tosser. Ah, there you go then. Fucking La Deutsch. That was no good, was it? Yeah, man. Yeah, so yeah, we're, we're kind of like Bristol here, really. Where we are. I've seen these videos where people camp on roundabouts and shit like that like, might be something I might do as well might look at roundabout camping I've got a little tent that's about all I have got and some fucking you know I mean you can do it cheap anyway innit but yeah I might I've seen I've seen a few roundabouts and thought ah that might be an idea like probably get onto it there's like a whole community of people in there like do you know what I mean a lost world of people. Fucking crazy. Yeah, man. Yeah, I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed doing a bit of driving. But, you know, killed me fuel off a little bit. Do you know what I mean? That's why I need to sort of, like, do more and to sort of get a few more pennies in from the channel because I'll be able to do more then things are tight in a minute so I have to obviously use the channel to be able to fund what I'm doing and obviously only just being monetized on it because we're on the road anyway we're on the road but it'll be easier now now it's monetized it'll be easier so obviously if people do put any donations in or they buy a membership you know it goes directly back onto the channel it doesn't go on kebab and chips for me it literally goes into the fuel tank and, and goes into whatever expenses it costs to go out and do another do another day somewhere and obviously the more money I've got the further away I can go do you know what I'm saying so that's what donations are there for if people want to donate to the channel like I say if you want to become a member it's only $2.99 now 